Uncle. The trove of documents has yielded a wealth of information. It's time to act upon its revelations. Welcome back, everyone. You are Templar, the Falcon here. Did only a little bit of off-screen grinding just because I wanted to like let the campaign flow to discover certain areas. But I did get some money, I did buy some permits for some areas, and I did upgrade the gun. But it's still pretty low level, so you probably won't it probably won't be that much of a difference. But let's continue on. Paths of shard. What did it do? Level two difficulty. A number of important facts were discovered from the documents you recovered, and one of particular note. The pirates have been buying equipment from the House of Borgia. Not the House of Borgia. Which explains their well-equipped forces. This is illegal. The smart thing to do I will would be to take this legal. information they tell to you the that? Royal Court at Imperial Harbor. How confident are these pirates? We're not doing that. Let's flip the sloop. We can use this as leverage with House Borgia. You are taking on, a Black highly Mount? sensitive message to the masters of House Borgia. Our backs are against the wall, and I'm done being played a fool. Nice. Go now, and let's make the most of this opportunity. We're about to show them our entire dunkle, basically. You remember last time? And returned quickly with the news. The like land owners basically said that, like, or like the imperial law. Enforcers basically said that Dunkel now lost its rights to Madoin. And we were like, ah, bruh. That's what we were like. So now we got a little bit of juicy secrets from the Borgia family because we know the Borgias are selling equipment to the pirates. Like, this is getting quite diplomatic. This is getting Games of Thrones levels of, of bumfoolery. Oh crap, did I defend myself? Die, pirate scum! Good, he's dead. Help! Did you say filth? That's it? Alright, I'm already starting to notice a difference, to be honest with you. I don't need their juicy fruit, but I'm gonna grab some of it anyway. Oh, I could fly ahead? Is that the only resistance that was in this flight path? I mean, I'll do it. Let's go. We have a lot of people to uh, blackmail and a lot of pirates to explode. Marshal Ilias. As I live and breathe. He doesn't represent the Borgias, though. They're over here in the shard. Doesn't Borgia sound like a type of cheese? I'm just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> so the House of Dunkle wants to play. Blackmail? We invented that game, and we've hung messengers for less. It does not suit our plans to draw Dunkle blood. We shall parley, but only in a meeting at Dunkle in person. Time to pay the good people of Dunkle a visit. Ready a cutter. We set sail. I really do like this world. The combination of heavy naval with a lot of aer aerial support. I want to see a more fleshed out version of this game. Like, this is just the indie version. Can you imagine if this guy had a AAA budget, but it was also made by people that cared? Because I want, I want things like, I want to see a little bit more. There you are. Let me start with a sincere apology. We did not intend for Dunkel to lose Madoin. The Mansa's response was <laughs> severe. Madoin. We will try to make amends. Because when I when I first saw this, I was hoping that I could get out of the birds and ex get off the bird and explore the town a little bit, even if it was just like um, uh, what's it called? If it was like cloud punk, to where it was like super limited, and all it was there for was literally like conversational story pieces, maybe, or even visit the shops that way. But in time, maybe if they make a sec second falcon here, we can see something like that. That'd be awesome. I mean, this game is pretty simple, but there's something about the world that I really like already. Oh, what's we dealt this? with pirates because we too are struggling. The whims and bureaucracy of the Mansa Order are keeping us from prospering. 
Onward, new objective. But they're moving so slowly. Nah, that's cool. I'll slow it down a little bit. House Borgia lies on the edge of the moor. I've never met a Mansa who knows the origins of its existence. It seems no one can tell us what this blight on our doorstep is. Keep on slowing down, and they don't. Wait, so this giant crack in the world, no one remembers how it got here? That's what that giant, like, sea crevasse, where the water pours in, but then acts normal at the bottom, and it never fills up. It's called the Maw. Have you ever wondered why we let the Mansa pull all the strings, why we accept their permits and their rules without question? Uh... Kind of. I mean, you guys are broken up into a bunch of little factions because you're an island-based society, so it kind of makes sense that you'd have, like, different, like, regulations and laws. I don't know about everyone surrendering to the Imperials as being the law enforcement of the entire world. I don't know what that's all about. But I never really thought about it until you just mentioned it now. Ooh, that's that, there's that Plateosaur again. I really hope that's the right word. I played Ark Survival, and if I forgot that, I'm gonna be a little bit embarrassed. It is because we feel more comfortable with someone in control. Someone who's knowledgeable in ways we are not. You mind, do you mind not slowing down to a complete stop every now and then to tell me stuff? You can keep on sailing while we talk. Otherwise, I have to do this new method I like to call uh, bird swimming. Like I'm a, like I'm a penguin. Like, like you can just, you can just do this. You just hammer the ocean. Ah, oh, now is not the time for goofy. Welcome, committee. It seems our mercenary pirates will turn on us. Let us deal with them and make some reparations to the Got people of Gotcha. Gotcha. Dive in. Give me your precious glowy gemstones. Wait, was there another enemy? I will hang your oh. around my neck! The boat's defending it themselves pretty well, actually. Well, we certainly got a taste of our own medicine this time. It was digested before the meeting starts. We shall talk soon enough. Yeah, lucky for us, only sent two. Was that really level two difficulty? Also, I like the rides. Because there's also, they're, they're, like, for the different different mounts, I also fought, fought some dudes fly, fly, flying some some sort of bug. And then a flying manta ray. And then, uh, like, a, a drake-looking creature. And I was like, oh, man, those all look cool, but I kind of want the manta ray. Manta ray seemed to be able to have, like, had the best, like, turn radius and also had high defense from what I could see. Maybe it's not the fastest, but I really liked its turn radius. It just turned. It was like, well, I'm facing this way now. Deal with this malarkey. Oh, sorry. Mission's already completed. I need to land. Ah. Who knows what we're getting into with House Borgia, but they are a powerful ally, especially in these dark times. Isn't it always dark times? I never show up during light times. You ever notice that? The Neverine or never arrives when things are all hunky-dory. All right. It's always after the beginning of Full Metal Alchemist is when they show up. It seems that House Borgia is willing to deal. We are receiving a number of Cutter warships as compensation for the damages caused. And in exchange, we will keep quiet about their sales to the pirates. Nice. Guns of Mercy. So we're going to go over there and collect some warships. House Borgia's dealings with the pirates have backfired quite spectacularly and damaged Uncle beyond measure. We have to come to a deal. Again, we apologize for our actions. We had not foreseen this outcome. However, now we both have something to gain from working together. Firstly, we're gifting Dunkle a cutter. This is a surplus ship from the Marcius Wolves. You will be escorting it from Cleft Spire back to Dunkle. Once we have established our new naval forces at Dunkel, 
we will support clandestine efforts to eliminate pirates together with House Borgia. Nice. A little bit of wheeling and dealing going on. Oh, sorry, I figured out what those weird fire symbols on the map are. You see that? It's actually uh, like a, a race. You actually have to go through those loops as the fires ignite on top. Nothing too extraordinary, but honestly, in this type of game, it's it's actually to be expected, I would think. A Spyro, <laughs> Spyro the Dragon uh, obstacle flight, if you will. In fact, I'm not surprised there weren't, uh, in this game at least, they weren't just a little bit more elaborate. It's literally just checkpoints. Like, like, like Superman 64, you just go through the rings. I can't wait to get to the actual upgrading of the bird, though. Because I would really, first thing I would like to upgrade, honestly, most of all, and it's kind of going against the grain for things that I usually go for, which is like health. It's the thing I usually go for when it comes to like RPG-esque upgrades at, at the beginning. I kind of want to go speed. I kind of want to go all speed first. I want to go fast. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to fly the whole way up there. Also, I think these jet streams are a little too high. I think they should be a little bit lower. I think they went too much realism on this. By the time you get to them and then use them, the amount of distance you cover after using them, it's like, you'd been better off if you just kept on flying straight, honestly. Like, unless you're already that high up in the air. Maybe it'll be more useful in the future when you can like fly, actually fly fast and you have a lot of stamina, so that you can just reach them real quick and it just boosts you. But otherwise, yeah, you do that. That happens. I was really high up. There it is! It might be surplus for the Imperium, but it'll outgun anything the free houses can muster. I completely lost track of it. I'm distracted by this uh, damn air balloon. Clef Spire! Imperium made of nine. Oh, we almost discovered all the Imperium islands. Is that it then? Oh god, watch out for the balloons. Scout Good Jasper. Day, sirs. Now set sail for Dunkle. Weigh the anchors. So that's the cutter we got, huh? Nice. Ooh, I bounced off of him. I might have saved his life. He almost flew into one of those balloons. I do wish we had a little bit more draw distance and a little less fog particles though. This is kind of intrusive, the amount we're getting right here. I like to just see more of the ocean. Feels like my my field my view distance is a little low. I mean, I get it. This is like a stormy, moist planet, right? But I just want I think it would look, I think it would make the game look a lot better if it just had a little bit more Uh oh, pirates! A pirate task force. No. This time we have the advantage. Attack! Yeah, attack that one. I'll go for this one. Although it seems pretty fast. Also, I think it's leaving the battlefield for some reason. Um, sir, you're supposed to fight me. I'm, all right, I'm gonna leave him alone because apparently he's. He decided to quit before it even started, I'm guessing, for some reason. The plus side, they seem to really be ignoring the boat. I wonder if their AI is broken. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir, the combat music has started. Let me show you my dunkel. Now he's avoiding me, what is happening? All right, let's go back then. There's one destroyed. How about this one? This one flying at me? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's an airship, actually. Down it goes. Oh, airships don't drop bonus points? Weird. 
There's my ally. Talking without saying words, of course. Oh, good. Stay vigilant. The Saroni gonna heat up from here onwards. The game is too graphically intense, apparently. Stay vigilant. The Saroni is good to have the added firepower. Let's get her through this pirate scum. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Oh, God. Damn. They do not give no dams. Ow! Ow! Enemy bird! Another enemy bird! They finally came back! After all that buffoonery. So I can't tell when my pots recharge. Fishy. No one's gonna say anything, we kill those pirates and we're just like, all right, cool. that one up. Anyway, I can just play my <laughs> my swimming formation now. <laughs> Did I mention my falcon is part penguin? You'll be good to serve my hometown and county for a free house. Uncle's sort of a smelly place, isn't it? Stay vigilant. Things are only gonna heat up from here onwards. You're gonna heat up from here onwards. Are the indicators whether one of my pots is recharged on my back? Is that what? Mission complete. Did it. We move like they do now. With this much firepower, we can reassert ourselves. This may even usher a new dawn for our much maligned free house. Oh, 50% accuracy. What? Whatever. All right. We're almost level three. I'm over it. Pirate assault on Salad Mount is imminent. Oh God! Time to lend a hand and put our new firepower to use. Why is this one four star but only worth three hundred? Oh, it looks like we got temporary blood loss as our reward, though. We have intel that the pirates are preparing a full raid on Salad Mount. Their wood mining operation no. is one of the richest in Hersey. We are going to deal a death blow to the pirate wood fleet mining as they attack operation. Salad Mount with one important distinction. Do not strike until Salad Mount is burning and its defenders defeated. This is part of a scheme proposed by House Borgia. Do not attack Salad Mount directly. Let the pirates do the work. If you succeed, House Borgia and House Mercius will endorse Dunkel as the new claim holders for rebuilding Salad Mount. We will be seen as both rescuers and rebuilders. Salamence wood will be a source of great wealth for Dunkel, as House Marsh has well purchased all Cheeky. that can be produced from now on. There is no turning back now. We're gonna let Salamount break so that when we come in to I rescue it... I make these choices myself, but I can't object. I have family at Salamount, even though Dunkel is my home. These are dire times. Yeah, it's pretty dark. We gotta let it burn and break down completely before we can interfere. That makes me a sad falconer. Also, that's interesting, because I was wondering where all the wood came, came from the woods. It's not like, not like a lot of forest. I guess 
trees and wood grow underground on this world. You have to mine them out, just like the salad. <laughs> what you eat and what you build with all comes from underground. From the great salad mines. Okay. Here we go. Good to see you, boys. We'll stay out of range until the first wave of pirates have done their worst. Straight for Salad Mount. Lead the way. What if the pirates decide to attack us directly? Do we have the right to defend ourselves, or do we have to just play coy? Also, could you be a slower boat? That's it. I'm gonna have to go swimming formation with him. <laughs> dive in! Dive in! Mr. Merciful, why? <laughs> That's too slow. He's getting away from me now. At least the sea is less choppy today. I see that updraft. I'm not messing with that. Is that a good sign? You guys believe all the sea is getting choppier again? Look, every we'll color here. of fish is. You here. guys show your faces and report when we can move in. Alright, well, what, you guys wait there. I'm gonna come in over here and take a look. to injury if you ask me hopefully no one noticed the fact that I had dropped that mine straight on top of that allied turret because I was ordered to man I don't understand these guys that work in mysterious goofball ways I don't have to escort the ship back. That was quite the flight. We see you. Be safe on your journeys. <laughs> Thank you. You be safe over there.
That soup juice is almost all the way. Ah. House Borgia is supporting our claim as we speak. The Salad Mount families will have no other way to pay for their rescue than to offer up their claim. Salad Mount Wood will be the source of great wealth for Dunkel. Even more so, House Mercias will purchase all that can be produced from now on. Ah! Oh. All the work so far has assured Bring our place the at the table. But we cannot afford to have anyone discover how we acquired Salad Mount. It is time to take care of those pirates and destroy them and their hideout. Finally, we're raiding them. Oh, the tables have turned. We now have all we need for a prosperous future. With the support of House Borgia, we have taken control of Salad Mount. The pirates have provided a convenient smokescreen for the entire affair. However, it would be very damaging if anyone were to discover how we took advantage of the situation. It's time to take care of those pirates and the base they have been operating from. We'll meet up with one of our cutters and escort the ship to the location of the pirate base. We're bound to run into the remainder of their force. Whatever survived the battle for Salad Man will be waiting for us. No Once we get man. there, we need to destroy all pirate defenders. Once we've cleared the air and sea forces from the Haven cutter, swagger. we will transfer and capture the fortress. Our deal with House Bulger depends on us leaving no trace. Indeed, it would be bad for business and interfere with our plans. I'd appreciate it if this was dealt with efficiently and quietly. I'll try, but I'll just pick up mines and drop them on turrets. Causing big hoot nannies. Huge plumes, mushroom clouds, that sort of thing. Alright, let's get over there. Before they change their minds and make something weird about it. Ah, yes. The orange glow of toxic fumes. That's not our ship. That's a buoy. Oh, that's a, just someone else's ship. A good thing Jasper! Be careful, the pirate patrols while we make our way to their hideout. They're sure to spot us ahead of our arrival. Don't worry. A good day for pirate hunting, eh? <laughs> Be careful, the pirate patrols while we make our way to their hideout. They're sure to spot us ahead of our arrival. You don't mind repeating yourself, do you, friend? How long can I hold on to the fish? Can I just hold on to it until I need it? Can you just be back there wiggle waggling? No, no. The eagle's got me. A falcon. A big bird of prey. <laughs> Whatever would my fishiness do? That is a huge fish. What is that, tuna? I mean, they only come in three colors, though. Like red, blue, yellow. But they're all the same massive size. No wonder the whales and the birds got huge. Plenty of healthy fish around. Huh. What do you help I see, Jasper? Nothing? Okay. He thought he saw something. Oh, he saw something. I see something now. Huh? We've been spotted! <laughs> Incoming! I don't know why that's happening all of a sudden. I have to figure that out now. No! How could I have known? No! Gotcha. It's all good, I still have my fish. Indeed! Jasper, are you okay? Talk to me. Stay vigilant. Things are only gonna heat up from here onwards. Stay vigilant. <laughs> Things are only gonna heat up from here onwards. He's kind of a monotone guy, but you can't hate him for it. Oh, God. Hey. 
Oh my god, you're hitting him very well. Oh, never mind. He's dang it. I'm not even sure he alerted him. The combat music didn't even start. We hit him so hard and fast. I think it was just one guy out there doing detail work on his vehicle. Wasn't even prepared. Yeah, what do you see? Uh, you shall not stand with me, boy! You interrupted his speech. And now he's dead. You think we over leveled for this fight? Nah, nah, nah. I don't think we've overtrained. Keep a close watch, boys. Pirates be here. With their sea beast and sea wenches. Sea wenches, you say? Yeah, <laughs> His eyebrow on raises. That high ridge, the pirate fort. Above it, a wing of stole ships. Those are our first targets. The flying boys to go pew, 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 pew. do something about them. We shall have you at whatever splinters you drop. I'll drop the big boy splinters, that's for damn sure. Nice try. I learned. Damn, he got me. Beginning, they're beginning to believe. Oh god, that good splash damage. I ate my fish. Not so fast, Sally Jesse Raphael. Fish. Splash, I was taken no! aback. <laughs> they find it disagreeable, do they? Alright. Bring it around town. Gotcha. Ooh, they gave me the zip zaps. But I'm okay. It was just a light touch. A light squeezing. It was a little late, but the idea was the ow. <laughs> the joy of it. Okay. Hit that. It's almost dead. Coming around. Stay on target. Go home, boys. Mission accomplished. <laughs> We're the real heroes of the skies, aren't we? Jasper, was he at home? Marines, give him my best. Sally, fourth gentleman. First in, last out. You know how it goes. Fly me to the moon. Here we are. Captain Young's. Is it Young's or Young's? Oh man, he's such a Young's. Excellent. You did well. The pirates are gone, and with it, all the remaining loose ends. <laughs> we have won. The cake is ours. Black flag, what? The pirate lord has evaded capture. His flagship was seen running towards Southmore. He's fleeing with a lot of harmful information and eyewitnesses. No, my God. In the name of Dunkle, let's go get him. A proper pirate hunt, gentlemen. This pirate lord needs to be sent to a watery grave before he can tell anyone the truth about what happened at Salad Mount. Intercept and destroy his flagship. We suspect he's meeting with someone. If that happens, both parties need to be sent to Davy Jones' locker. That's underwater, right? He's been spotted past the hinge! 
all sail towards Mansa territory. Let's catch up with him. Our ships will follow. We gotta hit them first. Our boats will arrive in time. But first we gotta get there. We're already running out of time. <laughs> no one can know about our evil plans to take over Salad Mount. Through back but through blackmail and back underhanded deals. Also, some sacrifice. I will have you! Salad you Mount. and your filthy kinfolk! Coward! <laughs> Me and my kinfolk happen to be in my pods. He's making a dash for it! Get those sails off! We got an appointment! Oh, he's aggressive. He's one of those angry boys. Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's hitting me well, he's hitting me well. Hold on, let's Blow get out of here. Burn out of the sky! Oh, did they drop off mines? Get those sails up! We Wait, got an appointment! Oh, oh, those are just tasers. You and your filthy kinfolk! Cowards! Okay, he's getting away from me. Actually, hold on. I need this fish, though. I'm already at half health. Alright, you're shooting at me. Right, catch up. Where's my allyship? Is he attacking it? What was that? What is that? By the trackers! I cannot believe it! We must hold! No, oh, God! Those who are lost seek out their brothers, their sisters, hoping to be found, reaching out only to find their shared fears. Freedom is their creed. But they are shackled by hate. I guess we're not supposed to beat that capital ship. The huge crab. A new splinter is opened. A new story unfolds. To hold a power? Does it mean you must use that power? Is an unused power worthless? Is the blade not swung, not a blade? And who truly wields that blade? The arm that holds it? Or the voice that commands it? Does a tree make a sound when it falls in a forest? Can I use this analogy in a bunch of different ways? Am I real because I say I am? House Mercius is the owner of the largest iron mining and trading company in the Imperium. As a result, the rich mines of Clefspire are slowly eating up the islands. And while Clefspire shrinks, its battle fleets grow. Well, you can just rope the boats together and make the islands again, Gunja. <laughs> I mean, hey. Expanded side missions, hostile Mancer territories, main enemy the lost, recommend level 4 to 10. Choose now what stories I'm only and memories level await three. you. What can be gleaned from these oh, lives? Oh, she has a witch hat. I'm gonna be a Lancer broadhead. Choose now what. Ascend now, Falconeer. It's time. Cleft Spa has taken the brunt of these attacks by the so called lost or free booters as the common folk call them. Recently, we have seen tensions between the Mansur Order and the Imperium increase. The Imperium, including House Mercius of Cleftspa, are without a supply of technology needed for their ever-growing fleet. Now that the Mansur Order have declared sanctions against the Imperium, Cleftspa is left to deal with the Freebooters at a disadvantage. No. 
We lost contact with one of our ships carrying cargo from Sacred Steps. It's presumed lost. Find its location and escort a wreck diver down to recover its cargo. Oh, so me and my Falcon's a little bit different now, too. It's like white, cut white feathers. The Mansa sanctions have cut off our equipment supplies. We Imperials are no longer welcome at their vaults. Oh. A final shipment was en route when we lost contact. With the Freebooter menace in the area, we expect the vessel to be lost. Undertake a search for the ship's menace. Near Sacred Steps is a good starting point. Once the location is determined, you will escort a wreck diver from Sark's Hollow to the site. When it has finished, return anything it retrieves from the bottom. Righteous, righteous. Where, where, where? Looks like the Ironworks have a mission they can't do without a bird. Imperials will know my greatness. Those filthy freebooters. I hear tell they are conspiring with the Borgias to take over lands. Allowing the pirates to destroy it and weaken it so that they could henceforth take it over. <laughs> oh, yo, oh, oh. Whole lot of skibbity bibbity argy bargies happening down south, if you ask me. Down by that, what do they call it? Their dunkel? Kind of an immature name, if you ask me. They like to hold on to Manoid as well. Do I always have to land here? No, I don't. Nothing here. Nothing here. How are these steps sacred? They look like regular steps to me. Am I by myself? What's going on over here? <laughs> Looks like Freebooter Razor Beetle. Dispatch them. I shall. With my dispatching hands. Oh, I took out several of them. Like that. Haha! Cool! Ooh, I did have an ally somewhere. There it is. She's probably the one talking to me. Give me all that jibber jabber. The ocean's full of jewels. Not that I need them. When do I get to pilot the whale? Skywell would be preferred. This place is looking more and more like the place where the Death Star crashed. That's supposed to look like that? Let's get that wreck diver. Further away, jeez. There are no depths we ain't willing to sink to. <laughs> Lead the way. Master Salad Mount. Shark's Hollow. 
Ah! I'm trying to think maybe those numbers are just the number of them, because I definitely didn't find that many civilian places already. There are no depths we ain't willing to sink to. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> no depths, not at all. Or I ain't some, uh. There are no depths we ain't willing to sink to. <laughs> Master Salad, the way. Captain of the civilian sloop. So he's part of the family of Salad Mount, of the Salad Miners. Is that how he got his name? Did he lose his eye in a salad mining accident? Talk about some sharp cheddar, man. <laughs> the kale was aggressive that evening. Godless and provoked. Provoked. Cabbages the size of a man. Right, we're hanging out. Too bad I can't land on him and just to like admire his little bolt. Like <laughs> oh, dare you shoot at me! I am the great imperial eagle. Make weird beetle sounds. <laughs> man, beetles' jewels ex like just go all over the place, man. Master Salamo, careful. The depths that they'll sink to. Oh man, he took some damage. Alright guys, escort me to the site. <laughs> ah, Separatist! <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. Just keep them away from us. Manta down. A delivery mission after an escort mission. My lord. The depths these pirates will sink to. Don't they know you represent the Empire? Good work. It's refreshing to see a freelancer worth their salt. <laughs> Not only do I have salt, sir, I assure you, I have equal amounts, or perhaps greater amounts, of pepper. Next Violence mission. has increased since the freebooters turned up. They appear to have a penchant for industrial settlements. It's not a penchant! Our assistance has been requested. <laughs> Anywho. Freebooters, come on. They're there, Due watch the out. the sanctions and the freebooter threat, we need to provide our support to the smaller settlements. We're sending you in to defend them. Don't let we those will escort a combined battle jobs. group to deal with the freebooter forces attacking the crumb brewers at Castellus. Don't let them touch Come any here. civilians. On with the salad mount. 
Give the locals a display of imperial strength. We're sending you out with a new toy. A taste of things to come. This will be an attractive target. Let's give our neighbors some real fireworks. Imperials are cool, is what we're trying to tell the folks at Salad Mouth. We saw the use of fast airships with the pirate threat. I'll be giving our version a spin on this mission. There's the steam rake. Let's get in formation and head for Castellus. Where, where, where? If it isn't. Captain Balin. Escort us to the target. Imperium steam rake. Oh, he's got steam power, he does. He's got those big boy paddles working for him. What classification is a rake ship, though? I guess I'm looking at it, right? Definitely has some besieged vibes to it, doesn't it? for your approval. What? <laughs> How come the feudal guys have helmets to make it to where I can't understand them? <laughs> the intense graphics. Oh, God. Oh, is that my ally in that ship? The fast balloon? I didn't realize that was the secret weapon. When do I get one of those? So how does salad mouth? Are we winning? Captain Balin. What are your bow ties see? <laughs> He's got like steam. Lots and lots of steam. He's like red-eyed down there. It burns with the glory of the Empire. You make me some steamed fish while you're down there. You mind? If I just bring them to you. Oh no! <laughs> Too fast a slippery for you. What is that supposed to mean? Damn heavy mantas! Shoot those heavy manta rays. <laughs> I get it now. Oh yeah, well did that How's that? How's that sound to you? Oh, you don't have that. Almost give a ride. I don't know what that green juice does, but I know that it's bad. Glow beetles are impressive. Er <laughs> oh no! Was that not part of your beetle board plan? Exploding like a coward. Only the brave survive. Alright, good work. The locals are damn good so. We'll leave the steam rake here as a reminder. Does the green juice do anything? Is it just her? Alright, Steam Rake, you stay here. Remind the local folks how cool we are. We gotta go home. 
I want to figure out what the green stuff does. What's it do? I don't feel no different, to be honest with you. Oh, my lasers are green now. Is that good? Was that a yes thing? Hold on, let me grab. Just grab one of these. Thank you. Can you warp us home now? Oh, I see. We didn't go that far because we went south and then came back. I see. I see. Ah. Hello, Imperial. Empire. Shaft Spire. Freebooter biotech never ceases to amaze. Filthy though it may be. However, our new vessels seem up to the task. Good work. Biotech? Rumors abound of vast caves beneath the ocean. The upsurge of freebooters with no bases on the surface leads me to suspect these rumors may be true. Time to investigate. You're telling me that not only is this a water world, it's also... Uh, what's it called? When it's like underground world, like... Oh, I forget the name of it. Kind of like King Kong, where there's like a earth underneath the earth. Some sort of multi-layer. They have multi -layered. long tales of caves in the area. We suspect the freebooters are using these as bases. My brother, the Forge Master at Redmouth, let slip that the geological surveys we need may be held there. You'll need to deliver a substantial offering to them for those maps. Once you like have what? the maps, take them to Shard for analysis by our House Borgia allies. You're heading into wild and uncivilized regions south of Moor. You'll go in alone and as fast as you can. Or die trying. Good luck. Try and catch high jet stream to get there faster. Yes, ma'am. Even though that will require me to fly up really high. Like this. Oh, I can fly ahead. Never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I got so high, I got the best jet stream of all. Skip. <laughs> Uh, joke's on you. I've already been to the bridge of the mall before. Kind of a fancy place, really. Please complete your current assignment first. Oh! Then why did I come here? Did it just guide me to the wrong place? Wait a minute. Few oh. Well, it did save me some travel time. Can I fast travel here right now? The Imperium tends to keep its access guarded both mouth. by gates of iron, as well as rules and permits. Probably because I'm during a mission. It's fine. It's like right here. Crap, he died. Oh, you guys got a good turner ass, but I think I'm a little bit better. Alright, turn my lasers green. Go on. I don't know what that does, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> whatever the bug people and the manta ray people say. What are free booters? <laughs> Bow down to our masters in the underground world. Crankor, 
The mole people. Dr. Z. Slow it down. Guide it. Don't force it. Ah, yes. A generous tribute from my metallurgical brother at Clef Spire. All from some geological <clears throat> surveys. All this newfound interest in geology and the pursuit of war. House of Borgia came for my southern maps last year. We from the Redmouth take no signs. Well, except family, of course. All right now, run along with your prize. Regards to my brother. <laughs> we worship hell and giant fish that come from it. The fiery ridge of red mouth. And the great sea beyond. I was just too busy. Return when you're more available for I, some I didn't mean to tell you, my bad. Still some ways to go. Let's hope nothing threatens our ship along our path. Oh lord, these are coming. Oh, there's an updraft there. Ah, Rain core. He dropped his green goo. His precious green goo is mine. Dive for it. Aha! Where is he? La Queen. Yeah, back to you too. <laughs> uncle, uncle, uncle. All right. <laughs> Have you guys thought about talking without using that crappy mic you got? Oh my God, those are worth an Xbox 360 mics. Jesus. <laughs> It's so messed up because if you look at the box, they're actually speaking English. But it's all jibble jabble. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot me. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. One eagle versus like ten of Beetleborg freak jobs from the underworld. Yeah, me bad. Yeah, I'm the flaming jackass. You right. You right. For those of you who didn't know, this is the mall. Pretty nice, right? It just sinks down there. And you have to be cool with it, otherwise you're lame. Oh god. <laughs> An ace pilot indeed. That has to be the worst <laughs> falconer I've oh, ever splendid. seen. splendid. The surveys from Redmouth. It will take some time to decipher and analyze the data. We will send word once we have located possible freebooter hideouts in the North Reach. She has a falcon haircut, you notice that? <laughs> yes, quite indeed. I'm hot bird. You see, I'm a bird woman. Like that tall one. I'm always sunny. Quiet here in the Imperial City. Clef Spire, what has become? What news of late? Did the Borgias and Redmouth not enjoy their prizes? This is a big step forward toward destroying these freebooters. This plague of the lost. These filthy organic abominations. Wow, wow, you don't even know them. You didn't go to their school. House Borgia have discovered a potential cave location for a freebooter base of operations. <laughs> it's just that simple. Level 4 difficulty. And we will do that next time. Because we're going to do a little cut right here. Sorry everyone, it's time. 
ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Ewok Templar, we're going through the Falconeer. I'm actually having a good time with this game. It's actually, it's quite a cute little game. It's not too complicated, but I don't know. There's something about it. There's something about the way things are named, the dialogue, what's happening, the, the simple combat, the fact that you're just a bird person shooting things. I actually really like it. It's got a lot, it's got, got a lot of charm in my opinion. But uh, thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. They shoot those heavy mentor rays. <laughs> I get it now. Oh yeah, we did that. How's that? How's that sound to you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.